Um, I'd first like to enter an objection to the approval of the current draft January minutes as you have them based on this. The public hearing, I came forward to speak. You had a buzzer. So lots of people got buzzed and some people didn't accept being buzzed and kept talking. So my comments, which I was not able to complete, have not been entered as I sent them electronically afterward to be sure that everything that I came to say that night was said. For example, one of many over the last four years, residents have done just the same and their statements or letters that they turned in that night were then printed verbatim into the minutes. So I am objecting the draft minutes because they do not have my entire statement, which was sent electronically, to also help with the clerical side of not having to type or go through the recording. So that is the first item. Does everyone understand what I just said? I think the way I addressed the, the emails and stuff going back and forth is what you spoke was verbatim. And what you handed in was something different that all, all applied to the record. I'll explain that what I did is as the light was turning, I had to jump and did not get to complete what I said. I turned it in. So you're <coughs> telling me that you're, it's not going to be entered in as I turned it in, whereas I will then start going through my records and provide all the other individuals that have, Let me speak. have that have had their statements under those same circumstances entered into the record so that that will be on the record as well. Thank you very much. I have one other thing. Yes, ma'am. The other one is more than a year ago, and on two occasions, I've come forward with a disclosures of real parties and interests and land use proceedings. Loudoun County has this document. Leesburg uses a similar document. And what it does is prior to each and every public hearing, regarding a zoning map amendment, zoning concept plan amendment, zoning ordinance modification, special exception or variance, and prior to any action, the applicant has to complete and provide all sole or joint property owners, parties who have legal interest in the protection of the property. What I'm asking is, if we are a town of true transparency and we are approving massive development, that I'd like to see true and serious okay. transparency. Thank you. You can hand it in to the clerk. Thank you for your comments. Mm -hmm. 